Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. I'm gonna do a ham radio video uh, for you today. A bunch of people have been asking about my 80 meter vertical. I'm standing right behind it. Um, I'm gonna try to give an in-depth review outside of this beauty. This is the DX Engineering. Let me get, get the shot here before I say what it is. It's a monster, it's lovely. This is, let me just make sure, I wrote it down here. It's the DX Engineering DXE-7580FS-VA2. Nice short uh, model number. It's the DX Engineering 7580 meter full size quarter wave vertical. Um, I have had all sorts of antennas in the past. I've had verticals, uh, I've had dipoles, I've had all sorts of stuff. Nothing has worked as well as this. And let me kind of just give you some of the how-to on what we did. I gotta thank my friend Charlie. Charlie, you know who you are. You helped uh, dig the hole. The, let, me, let me start at the base here. This thing is a 68 foot quarter wave vertical from DX Engineering. There's the base. Now you don't have to make it all pretty like I did around there, but the base itself is a two foot wide by two foot wide by four feet deep uh, piece of concrete. Below that, there's six inches of gravel uh, that we put in. But the hardest part of this whole thing is digging that hole, getting down in that hole and digging that hole. So two feet wide by two feet wide by four feet deep concrete. Um, we dug that hole, got the gravel down there, um, got a little wood frame around it, and then put this pipe, the base pipe in there. Um, and that base pipe, well, it goes down a little more than four feet and about three feet, so it's seven feet. It is heavy, it is heavy duty. Um, but got the concrete, got the, uh, the pipe set in there, made sure it was vertical, and uh, then let the concrete set. And that's the hardest. There's a lot of physical in digging that. So uh, that was a good workout. Charlie, I appreciate you. <laughs> I definitely appreciate you. Um, from there, you know, once it's set, then it's a matter of putting it together. Now I uh, bought a couple extra things uh, down at the base. You're gonna need this, the DX Engineering base plate. Uh, the radial plate, and that holds 60, up to 60 radials. Now you could probably run this thing with four radials, eight radials, whatever. I wanted to do, do it right. So put it on there. I did buy the 60 radials. Um, and I, let's just start, the, the radial plate. I put that on. Then what I also invested in is this winch. And this is the DXE, I'll put all these part numbers down below, but the DXE dash, VRW1 winch. You can raise and lower this whole thing by yourself, one person, once it's assembled. It's a bugger. If you had to pull it up yourself, man, that'd be a workout. Um, it, it, it's great. It sits on the pipe. You know, this, this part would attach right to the pipe without the winch, but the winch comes with this plate. The winch itself, which will lower, all you end up doing is um, undoing uh, four bolts and uh, you can raise and lower it. Now I will say, let me uh, swing around one more time. Sorry to keep swinging you back and forth. When you set it up and you wanna figure out which way it's going to lay when it's in the down position, make sure that you know what you're doing. That's my one mistake. If you look behind me, it drops right that way. Now what's right that way? Our asparagus patch. Now in the spring, when the asparagus is only, you know, so tall, not a big deal. In the fall, if you want to take it down and up, make sure you're just dropping it. You don't lower it to a fence. This is 68 feet from the base. Make sure you know exactly where you're putting it. My one mistake. Other than that, construction is easy. This is, I think the outside here, this, this bottom is three inch outer diameter 
um, sorry, just dropped a, a note that I had. Um, three inch outer diameter. It is heavy duty aircraft grade aluminum. All the hardware, stainless steel. I've had this for three seasons, I believe. Yes, three full years and not a bit of corrosion, rust, anything on here. Went up, I, I put the anti-corrosion, uh, the stuff to get it to couple, I forget what that paste is called, but that's at every joint. Otherwise, it comes in about six foot sections, and at the top there's clamps, but at the bottom, um, it's these nice screws and bolts, and really, really nice nuts and bolts. It's actually great, easy to put together. I don't know if you can tell, We've got a very light breeze today. It's a great wind. You can tell by looking at the vertical what direction the wind's coming. Um, it definitely bends when, and it's supposed to. It bends with the wind, which it's supposed to. It has, this thing has been whipped around. You know, when it hits 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour, that thing, 30 miles an hour, it looks like a question mark up there. It really bends and you'd be surprised. Last summer we had good front come through with sustained winds for a, a several minutes over 80 miles an hour based on the trees and the, the damage to a roof. This thing is unscathed. Um, it really came through like a trooper. Um, it really took some abuse and it gets a lot of wind. I'm up on the, I'm the highest spot for six miles as you can see. When it's windy, it's windy. This thing has come through like a champ. Um, you do get a nice manual with it uh, that explains all the construction, everything you need to do. Now I want, I'm a contester. I like working DX, which means I like working distant stations, other countries, um, and I, I like to contest. I wanna have a good signal in, in the contest. This thing gets me out, this thing really does. And to make sure that I really get out, you know, I got that radial plate that I told you about, and it holds 60 radials. Now, I got all 60 radials from DX Engineering, and I got the, uh, what is that, a shunt coil, that coil. I noticed that the, uh, I was getting some static. I put that coil on, it went right away. Really nice and quiet, but these 60 radials, they go out in all directions. Oh, I think they're 60, 60 some feet. Um, don't coil them up. If you run out of room, you know, like uh, when it comes up against the chicken coop there, I cut them. So they're a little bit shorter there. Otherwise, everywhere else, they're 60 feet, uh, six, 60 or 65 feet going out. I mowed my lawn really short really short. I laid them down, I got the, the uh, radial staples, stapled them into the ground so they were held against there. I fertilized and watered heavily. The grass grew back really nice and you wouldn't know that there are 60 radials going out in all directions. Now it's winter now, of course you wouldn't see it, but uh, all uh, they're all buried underneath the ground now. I don't see them at all. The only connection that I've got when it's contest season I run the uh, run the feed line out from the, the shack and I plug it in um, and it's good to go. This thing is amazing. Um, it really performs like a champ. It gets me a great signal out in all directions. Um, let me see what I wrote. I wrote down some notes. Um, the SWR, it's uh, marked for two to one SWR, somewhere around 500 KC. That's right on. Uh, I have it set a little bit lower in the band from uh, 3,500 up, you know, uh, quite a distance. Uh, it's good. My tuner uh, gets it below two to one the entire band. Uh, most of the DXing and stuff I do is down on CW. Um, it works really good. Like I said, aircraft grade aluminum uh, and the stainless steel hardware, it works like a champ. It really does. Um, it is such a huge step up. I can tell you, I had one other vertical. I use this on 40, and this is the, uh, I don't know if you can see it down there, but it's a 33 foot kind of a compromise. 
Um, can you work DX with that? Yep. Uh, is the sliver so small where the SWR is good on 80 meters? It's tiny on, on some of those little compromised verticals. This thing, uh, I forget what the cost was. I'm thinking with the radials, with the winch, with the antenna, with all that, it's probably around 1400 bucks what I spent. Is it well worth it? I wanted to buy one thing and have it last for a long time. I think I've got that. Um, like I said, raising and lowering it is easy if you need to do some maintenance. Tuning it is easy. It's the last piece way at the top. Just what length you want it to get it to tune to the right uh, frequency where you want it to dip. It, it really works well. Um, what I'm going to do is take you inside. I'll give you a little demonstration just uh, listening on it, um, see how conditions are, but uh, kind of show you what's all involved with the antenna. But uh, for outside, this thing's uh, uh, mechanically really sound, easy to put together. Um, let's go in the shack and we'll give you a rundown of what it listens like. All right, well I wanted to give you a little uh, rundown on the uh, 80 meter vertical just from a receive standpoint uh, and transmit. Uh, I'm part of the uh, ARRL DXCW right now uh, contest. Just want to give you a rundown. Uh, in the CQ Worldwide CW, I work 46 countries with the vertical uh, with 100 watts. Um, let's see, uh, during sweepstakes, 252 cues on 80 meters. Uh, good domestic uh, uh, antenna, but uh, yeah, 46 countries in CQ Worldwide. Uh, let's give it a, a listen here right now. Oops, sorry. Let me just tighten that up a little bit. So that's uh, Echo 7 DX in Bosnia, Herzegovina. Um, let's see if I can. QRM. Everybody's, everybody's in on the same spot there. That's uh, uh, a Mexican station. Let's see, here's... Uh, Virgin Islands. KP2M, Virgin Islands. Italy Oscar 5 Oscar uh, in Italy trying to just move up the band here quick so uh, Echo Alpha 5 Radio Hotel in Spain Station in Oregon, talking to him. DJ Five MW in uh, Germany. That's uh, uh, PZ5 uh, DX, a uh, hundred watt station down uh, down in Suriname. Let's see if There's, there's a whole bunch, uh, bunch of guys in there. Just wanted to turn this down. Um, this antenna's vertical is a winner. So uh, um, I'll put some of the details down below. Um, if you got questions, 
drop me a note. Um, it's it puts out a great signal with my hundred watts. Um, you know, if I can work, uh, I think last year in this contest I worked seventy, or I'm sorry, forty nine countries uh, on eighty with a hundred watts and the uh, the vertical. So it's a winner. Uh, if you got questions, throw them down below. Uh, if if you've got other observations and you're using the antenna, throw it down below, uh, but uh, it works well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Hey, everybody. I wanted to do uh, just a, a closing on this video. Uh, I filmed that last bit during the heat of the battle uh, in the uh, AWRL DXCW contest, and I didn't get to film anymore. I should have. I apologize. Um, conditions were great this weekend, but the antenna performed like a champ. Um, 57 countries worked uh, on 80 meters with the vertical. Um, 57 countries with 100 watts. Um, I, I, others have done better, I'm sure, but uh, for me, with 100 watts from the black hole of Minnesota with the vertical, I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. It, it exceeded my expectations. Uh, and there were some others that I heard that I just couldn't, the pileups were so thick, I just couldn't quite get through. Um, but worked all the way from Australia to Japan and some of the Asians, uh, lots of Europe, some Africans. Um, I heard but could not get through to uh, Israel, but heard it really well. Uh, just the pileup was so thick that I uh, just could not get through. So 57, yeah, 57 countries, uh, um, I'm pleased. So uh, thanks for watching the video. If, you've, uh, if you're looking for a real performer, uh, this antenna is great. I've got a friend who's got four of them, using them in a four square. Um, that would be the next move up for me. Um, but I'd have to redesign where I put all this stuff in the yard. So probably not going to happen. I'm going to keep this vertical. So, uh, but it's a real winner, a real winner. Uh, I've got my DXCC uh, on 80 meters uh, over the past uh, couple of years just with this vertical alone, and I haven't gone hard at it. I've uh, just been playing uh, in contests and some others. So if you're thinking of an 80 meter vertical, this is it, um, I think. I think it's well worth. My dad always said if you're going to do something right, or if you're going to do something, do it right. And I wanted to make one purchase and only one purchase instead of buying other things that are of less quality and then doing it again in a few years and again and again. I, I'm of the opinion of buy it once, buy it right, put it up right, and let it last for a long time. So anyways, thanks for watching. And if you got questions, put them below. If you've got experiences, especially if they differ from mine, put them down below. I'd love to hear what your uh, thoughts are on this vertical. Everybody take care. Thank you.